Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new and this is the first time you've ever seen me, Crystal Lewis, thank you so much for tuning in today. And to all those that follow me and are just tuning back into this video, thank you for supporting me and for subscribing to my channel. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. So this video is about my hair. So um, obviously you guys know I'm a makeup artist. I have redefined videos, which is the experience with my life that's lived with Jesus Christ and just the expression of that. Um, and then also now I want to add another section to my channel and it's all about my hair and the natural journey that I'm taking with this hair. So um, I don't really know where to start with this, but I just want to start. And so this is kind of just like an introduction to my hair. So in this video, I'm just going to share um, my journey so far, uh, where I want to get to with my hair and kind of just what made me get to this place of wanting to share hair tips, my hair journey with you guys. So in when I was eight, when I was about 18, between the age of like 18, I would say, this is just approximately, 18 to the age of 23, I would say I spent those five years, like coming from having relaxed hair, chemically relaxed hair, so from my natural state, just chemically relaxed, to, you know, I was, you know, I, that happened, I, you know, I think my, the first time my hair was relaxed was probably really when I was about, I wouldn't be surprised, about six, seven, eight, I don't know for sure, but then I had relaxed hair the entire time, all the way up to sort of like 18, where between the age of 18 and 23, I probably relaxed my hair like one time, but I was in the process of kind of like I didn't purposefully make the decision, but I just realized that I was wearing so many weaves anyway, I may as well just let my hair um, grow out and just like wear the weaves, you know, with my hair just being natural. So I'll just straighten the portion of my hair that was out um, to blend in with the rest of the weave that I had at the time. When I was like 23, I started like really, um, I kind of just like, I started like hearing about this whole like natural thing and how like women were like so many like this big thing just started happening where women everywhere well it became apparent to me that we black women everywhere people with afro hair were just um going on hair journeys and really really like making a purposeful uh decision to just leave their hair in their natural state and to look after it the best way. And of course, if you spend 23 years of your life, um, majority of that just being how you was raised, not knowing how to do your hair, your, or not knowing how to deal with your natural hair, it is gonna be a process and it's gonna be a journey to learn how to then deal with it. So from the age of like 23, all the way up to now, I've just been back and forth with sort of like trying really, really hard to learn as much information and um, trying my best really to uh, just do that which is best for my hair. But um, I think it's understandable that I've just, you know, it's just been like this. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, I just feel like it's so stagnant and I just feel very impatient with it. And to be honest, like my hair has been the cause of a lot of like just anxiety and um, just like the lack of like, it, it just makes me feel not beautiful having my hair and not only just how, it's not that just having my hair and it being what it is, it's mainly it just feeling like um, like I'm failing with it all the time because I just don't know how to do it. And even as I learn, like I've come a long, long, long way. Like I now know how much moisture my hair needs, like, like, you know, that I need moisture. And like literally if I sat here and told you guys all of the things that I used to do to my hair and the way I used to treat it, you would be like, girl, you've come far. You may not be where you want to be, but you have come a far way. Yeah. So anyhow, most recently my husband, um, 
because he you know we live together we're married we're like always together we're like best friends and he was just like do you want me to pray with you about your hair so i was like yes please and he did you know one morning just took my hands and prayed and just asked the lord in and i really feel like that was kind of like a shift it just created hope in my heart and faith for my hair and i know this sounds really stupid but it means so much to me and I know that God knows how much it means to me so um, you know he wants to bless me he wants to teach me and I just I just really feel like he's now gonna like he's already been doing it but now he's really gonna be like helping me like really helping me more importantly just to stay strong and to continue and to really get to the end point which is to have strong healthy long luscious yeah hair like they're the four things that i would desire for my hair that it's healthy that it's to the best possible like that it's the best that it could be for what it is like that it will be strong that it can just take you know i don't have to like it's just not fragile or weak but that it's strong that it's long i do want length to my hair i want to be able to style it in many different ways and then i also want it to be luscious just because yeah that's just like you know god's little sprinkling of beauty there for me so so my hair is i believe it's uh i could be getting this wrong i hope not but i'll write it. if i get this wrong i'm going to write it down here below exactly what it is but it's i believe my hair is like three c four a hair um so it's it's quite tightly curled obviously as you can see um but it's also very like it's quite soft as well so it's um it's, it's 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 easy to manage apart from the fact that at the moment it's so weak and so fragile and it's just really not in a great place but um yeah this is what i want to i want to come on here and i want to just begin sharing my journey i'm gonna be you know reading more and just paying a lot more of attention um obviously you guys know like you know when i started my my makeup you know it took a while for me to get in the swing of that um i recently started uh, my uh redefined videos which is sharing my faith and you know it's taking time to get you know it's going to take time before i really get the swing of that but also you know i don't really need to be introducing a new channel but i'm going to like a new section of my channel but i'm going to anyway this is what i feel i feel like this is what i should do so this is what i'm doing and i pray that it's a blessing to you guys the, the strongest part of my hair is the back and oh, you know i have to be gentle guys and at the moment you know it's the strongest and it's the longest and it's like there so there is a bit of length last year I, I did the big chop in 2015 uh in was it july and so this is how much my hair has grown since then um i've had a baby which helped because he just uh <laughs> that helps you know today i'm rocking my natural hair i do go back and forth with it quite a bit and i do wear my natural hair you know every now and again but i just fall back into this place of like weave you know i feel like the place that i really need to like that god is helping me to come to at this point in my life with my hair is just accepting it and then working with what it is that i have and not only just accepting it but growing to love it so if you are in a position you can agree with anything that i've said today whether that be that you've been up and down with your hair whether or not it whether it is that you just want to know the beauty and understand the beauty of your hair whether you just feel stuck and you feel all over the place with your hair you feel like you're just not making any process progress um and just if, if i said anything that relates to you in any way shape or form um i just want to take this opportunity to just say start with prayer because I, this is what i do and i just have a new sense of hope to be guys honestly i've gone to bed at night crying that sounds stupid to some people but it's just honest like i've gone to bed at night sometimes crying about just my hair and the frustrate like the frustration is so intense so um i just want to yeah i just want to uh, yeah just start with prayer guys yeah, so um guys look out for more hair videos and um, they are going to be under hair journals and um i'll definitely keep you guys updated and um 
it's going to be I think it's going to be good for you to see um, just the difference that it makes when you with the help of the Lord go forward um, in truth and learn to accept love and really take care of your natural hair if you have hair like mine <laughs> anyway guys um thanks so much for tuning in um, um please feel free to check out any of my makeup videos if you're new to my channel um or my redefined videos that i have like two of uh, they're really good and well really interesting and encouraging so um thanks guys stay beautiful and blessed and i'll see you guys in my next video take care guys bye Bye.